All right, how are we doing today, everyone? Uh, so today it's going to answer one question. I'm going to keep it shorter today, I think. <clears throat> but I got asked this question by one of my youth athletes today. And I thought it'd be good for other people to hear, too. And uh, he just asked, because we've been working on, like our main goal for nutrition is to get more protein in the diet. And he's like, how do I get more protein? Well, the simple answer is just eat more protein-based foods or protein-rich foods. Uh, so again, let's talk about our protein foods and when we think about it. A lot of times it's going to be foods you get from an animal. So your meat, your fish, your eggs, your dairy. Uh, those are all good, high quality. Uh, I guess depending on where you get that from, it's a high quality source. Um, where the animal, as long as the animal's a good quality, raised right in, in that type of thing and not just pump full of antibiotics and other junk. Um, so those are the main part, main thing, main ways. That, again, meat, eat your meat. Uh, if you're a vegan, well, or vegetarian, I mean, you can do that. That's fine. But again, who doesn't like meat? Come on, seriously, it's it's good. It's good for you. <clears throat> um, but again, uh, so we talk about kind of more ways to get more protein in your diet. Because yes, the 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 low end is the rough estimate or goal. A good goal is, yeah, one gram per pound. But why just do the minimum? If you're active, if you're trying to get bigger, stronger, faster, be a better athlete, you can go more than that. Again, protein is not going to, uh, it's the least likely to turn into fat of the three macros. So carbs and fat are obviously going to be um, more likely to it when you overeat them. If you overeat protein, it's not going to be as drastic as the others. So, uh, how to get more protein? Obviously, let's start by each meal. Having some sort of protein with every meal you eat, whether you eat two, three, four, five, uh, have protein in that meal. Uh, if you're not going to count and measure it out, that's totally fine. Uh, whatever works for you. But if you like to measure and weigh out things, uh, get however many ounces, whatever. It is you need if you have a if you're doing macro goals, figure out how much you need to split that up into evenly among your uh, among your meals. If you're just going off um, building habits, I always say a good way is the way I learned precision nutrition is a palm sized portion with each meal. Uh, guys go two probably or bigger people if you're eating more go two. Um, uh, ladies one is usually fine, but again. If you're active, you can even go more. Again, protein, more protein is probably better for most people. <clears throat> um, so that's one way. You just have, start your meal off with your protein. That's That should be the base of your nutrition plan anyway, because uh, protein is how we repair, how we rebuild our muscle. And that's, it's gonna help you feeling satiated too, so you're not gonna wanna eat as much other stuff. Um, and that can be a problem with eating a lot of protein too, is, is it fills you up. And it, in a lot of these things, you have to chew the meats and uh, fish. You got to chew that. So, um, and chewing can be work, especially if you're eating like a steak or chicken that's dry or whatever. So um, other ways to do that is, is so protein is going to fill you up. So it can be tougher to eat more. So, which brings me to the other sources like find snackable um, convenient proteins, uh, protein sources. So ways you can get it quick. Uh, it's not going to take a lot of effort to make, whereas making a meal could be. Um, so maybe it's a, a Greek yogurt mixed in some fruit or something that tastes because Greek yogurt doesn't taste the best plain. Um, so add in some stuff. Don't get the flavored stuff because that's usually just sugar bombs. I uh, get you to the plain. Add in your own fruits, your vegetables, your nuts, whatever, uh, and mix that in there. So s quick, convenient sources. Uh, this is where a protein powder can help. Uh, am I saying you need it? No, you don't. You can be perfectly fine um, without protein powder, but it can be help helpful. It can be convenient. Again, look for a good quality source um, that's not full of a bunch of extra junk and extra weird ingredients that you don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, that can be a good help. So you throw it in a bottle, mix it up, or you throw it in with your 
oatmeal or um, your yogurt even and mix it up and have it that way or use it to bake your own baked goods. I do that a lot to make better tasting, healthier uh, cookies or pies or cakes or whatever it is. Uh, so other convenient sources, uh, canned tunas or little pouches of tuna can be good if you're on the go. Um, it's not a huge amount of protein, but like string cheese, if you have a few of those, uh, it can get you a decent amount, things like that. Cottage cheese is another good one. Um, some sorts of jerky can be good. A lot of that is a lot of sugar bombs as well, a lot of other weird junk they put in it, but if you find a good quality jerky, um, those are good, like beef sticks type things. Again, just look at the quality of it, where it's come from. Um, there are plenty of good brand, good uh, companies that make it out there. Again, but that stuff can get kind of spendy too. Uh, even just meal prepping ahead of time. So one thing I like to do, it might be weird, but cook up some ground beef, put it in the patties, and just, oh, there's your protein bar right there. Even if it's cold, it's still cooked. You had it cooked, so you just eat it. There's a protein bar, um, like beef or chicken. Uh Prep your meals, prep your food beforehand, then you have it ready to go. If you don't have a microwave or something to heat it up, it's fine. Tough it out. Eat it cold. It's fine. It doesn't have to be warm all the time. So I think meal prep is a huge way to do it, a huge way because you can bulk prepare protein, get go to the grocery store, get a big package of the chicken breast, throw it all in a crock pot or on the grill or however you like to make it. Throw the ground beef in there, get that, or like I said, patties. You can bulk prep a bunch of protein if you don't use it all right away put it in the freezer save it for later then oh look you got that the, the next time you can grab it and go uh, but again it's just the main thing about getting more protein is just uh, prioritizing it and making it a priority in your life to have it with each meal to have it every time you sit down and eat to get good quality sources and once you start doing this these things and it becomes a habit and that's what we want we want it to become a habit to help you keep moving forward and keep doing it. so it's something that you don't even think about it's like oh I, protein that's just another part of my meal that's the main thing i need that's what i'm going to base my meals on uh that's what i'm going to base my choices around and then you do it then you eat it because again if you're starting out and you don't like most people you don't eat enough protein you might not be able to jump right from 50 grams of protein a day to 200 grams of protein a day take time build into it build yourself up meet yourself where you're at like i always say with training with nutrition with sleep with habits meet yourself where you're at and work towards where you want to be and then eventually as you're working towards it and building that journey and building those habits that's when things start sticking and becoming habits and behaviors and you're not <clears throat> not even thinking about it. you don't even second guess it it's just part of your routine part of that lifestyle because uh, that's what it's about building a good healthy lifestyle to keep you moving forward for the rest of your life and it starts with your nutrition uh, it starts with protein good quality protein again um hard boiled eggs that's another one that just popped in my head um get a few of those you get those you can make your own you can buy them pre-packaged at the store um Kind of bouncing all over the place there but that's back to that uh getting more protein the the simple protein foods that are readily available they don't have to cook or prepare really <clears throat> um so again make pro have protein with each meal is one find good quality like another way to get it is easily ready uh, readily available or convenient protein sources uh like i said that you can get it you can even go pick them up at the grocery store because you can go to or a gas station. You can go to a gas station and find quality protein um, selection in there if you're in a rush or on a trip or whatever and just last second type thing. Um, that's another way to do it. Uh, and then just meal prepping and having your food prepared and ready to go so you're not last second, oh, I got to put something together that's junk or I got to run to McDonald's or whatnot. And who knows if their, quote unquote, their protein sources are actually real food. Um, so 
You don't know what that beef is beef or whatever it is. So, again, you can get more protein. It's not as hard as you think. You It's just about making it a priority. Having protein with each meal, finding good uh, quality, convenient sources when needed. You can mix those in. Uh, and then having your meals prepared and ready beforehand. So you, especially your protein, bulk prep that protein so it's ready. You can grab it and go or grab it and quickly um, get it prepared again, re reheated or whatnot. So uh, those are just three simple tips, I think, that can help you get more protein in your diet. But the main thing is just making it a priority and knowing how important protein is uh, for being an active youth athlete, an active kid, an active adult, an athlete for life, uh, you're going to want, that's part of it, is eating enough protein. And most people don't eat enough. So go eat more protein and build that lean muscle. Become an athlete for life and start building these habits that are going to stick with you for the rest of your life. So have any questions on that or protein, uh, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.